Hey guys, this is Gargi. Welcome to another educational video from the Dazzling Dentist. So in this video, we will talk about the mixing time, working time and the setting time of gypsum products. So what is mixing time? It is defined as the time elapsed from the addition of powder to the water until the mixing is completed and which is denoted by a uniform homogeneous smooth mass. So basically it is the time between the addition of powder to water till the completion of mixing. For mechanical mixing it is 30 to 45 seconds and hand spatulation is done within one minute. Now what is working time? It is the time interval between the mixing time and the initial setting time. So basically it is the time available to work with the gypsum product to get the desirable product. It is usually a 3 minute working time. During this stage the mix is fluid, exhibits pseudoplasticity and readily flows under vibration so it can be poured into the mold. In this stage the mix has a glossy surface. Now what is setting time? It is the time elapsing from the beginning of mixing until the material hardens. So basically from the start of mixing till the hardening of material is the setting time. The setting time of type 1 gypsum is modified to fall within a range of 2.5 to 5 minutes to enable clinical usage as prolonged setting time would distort the impression due to operator and patient fatigue. In simple words, type 1 gypsum is modified so that its setting time falls between 2.5 to 5 minutes and which enables the clinical usage of it. From type 2 to type 5 gypsum products, the setting time is 12 plus minus 4 minutes. Setting time can be classified into initial setting time and final setting time. So, what is initial setting time? As the reaction proceeds, more hemihydrate crystals react to form dihydrate crystals. The viscosity of the mass is increased and it can no longer be poured. The material becomes rigid but not hard. It can be carved but not molded. And this is known as the initial setting time. Now let us see what is final setting time. The final setting time denotes complete conversion of hemihydrate to dihydrate. At this stage, the material can be separated from the impression without distortion or fracture. Now what are the factors affecting setting time? First is manufacturing process, mixing and spatulation time, water powder ratio, temperature, modifier. So if there is change in any of these factors, it will affect the setting time. So what are the methods to measure setting time? First is loss of gloss test and second are penetration tests in which we use Wicart needle and Gilmore needle. Now how do we measure the initial setting time? For that we can do loss of gloss test. The set plaster when loses its surface shine and smoothness, it is considered as the end of working time. An initial set has taken place. This method is known as loss of gloss method. So basically when the set plaster loses its surface shine and smoothness, it indicates the initial set has taken place. Now the second method is initial Gilmore test. This test involves the use of needles of varied diameters and loads 
load onto the surface of spread mix of gypsum the time at which the needle no longer leaves an impression is called setting time so basically needles of different diameters are used and then load onto the surface of gypsum so when there is no impression of the needles on the gypsum this is known as the setting time a thin needle with 2.13 mm diameter point under 0.25 pound or 113.4 g weight is used in this method the initial gilmour test is approximately 13 minutes now how do we measure the final setting time for this we have final gilmour test the time elapsed until a heavier gilmour needle with 1.06 mm diameter point under a load of 1 pound or 453.6 g weight leaves only a barely perceptible mark on the surface is called final setting time this test is similar to the initial gilmour test but the needle of different diameter is used that is 1.06 mm and heavier load is used that is 1 pound or 453.6 g weight when this needle leaves only bare marks on the surface of gypsum this is known as the final setting time the final setting time by this method is about 20 minutes the next test is wicart test this penetrometer test is similar to the gilmour test and use a needle of 1 mm diameter under a plunger load of 300 g weight the time elapsed until the needle no longer penetrates to the bottom denotes the final setting time so this is similar to the gilmour test but here the diameter of the needle is 1 mm and the load is 300 g when the needle no longer penetrates to the bottom it denotes the final setting time the setting time measured by this method ranges from 20 to 30 minutes so that's all for the topic hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe share and comment down and also press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any updates from the dazzling dentist thank you